Hey guys, so welcome to this Black Friday haul unboxing. I just got back from Black Friday, so we're gonna unbox these right away. We're gonna unbox everything on camera, and when I say everything, I mean everything. Let's get started with this first. The sweeper. Not even a Swiffer, because they ran out. Oh yeah, dry pad. Oh yeah, included wet pack. The telescoping stick. And then, the little thing you're supposed to attach the pad to. Screw that on. And now, you have a really convenient way to clean the floor. Alright, moving on. The next thing I got was a SanDisk 32 gigabyte micro SD card for the new 3DS. Three months of Tidal is included. Who the hell uses that? Ugh. It's just a micro SD card and adapter, nothing special. Zootopia! It was only $8, so it's perfect to replace the pirated version of my computer. I don't even have a Blu-ray player. I'm only gonna get the digital download from this. As a Zootopia fan, I just wanted something physical. And this was only $8, so why not? It's usually like $30. It's beautiful! Do we get anything else? Oh, so there is a DVD and a Blu-ray, so I can still use it even though I don't have a Blu-ray player. Nice. And this is if you want to download it. Whoop. Probably never gonna open it again. Now next, the second to the main event, the new Nintendo 3DS. This is my old DS, so this should be a pretty decent upgrade. AC adapter not included. Better make sure you have your own. I don't want to damage this beautiful box and its artwork. That just slides right out. AR cards, I don't need any more. The instruction manual is pretty thin compared to the original one. Uh, how do you get it out of this cardboard thing? Oh, there we go. I got the black version because black is better than white. It looks more modern. Turn that phrase around in any way you want to. I didn't get the XL because it was too big. And I also prefer the face plates that come with the regular size new 3DS. Here's the back of it, so beautiful with all those designs. And here's the front of it without the faceplate. Don't want to let you see my serial number. We're gonna snap on the faceplate. Ah yes, there we go. Now we have a full clean new Nintendo 3DS. It's beautiful. I'll set that up later. Move out of the way. Out of the way, out of the way for the main event. The MacBook Air. So I wanted to get the 128 gigabyte model to be cheaper, but I was forced to get the 256 gigabyte model, which is $200 more. This will be replacing my old 2011 really thick MacBook Pro. Some of you guys are complaining, why do you get another MacBook Pro? The Air is less powerful than the Pro. Well, I checked the benchmarks of my old MacBook with this new MacBook Air, and it was actually a decent bit faster. And my old MacBook was fast enough for me before it broke, so I think that this will be suitable for me. I don't think I would need to spend a few hundred dollars more to get a Pro. Ah, oh, yes. That new laptop smell. Alright guys, ready for this? Dun dun dun. Ah, oh, yes. light. Oh, that smells like a Chinese worker's sweat. I spit on it a little bit. That's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let's put that aside like all the other pretentious unboxers to take a look at the accessories. So it comes wrapped with an extension cable for the MagSafe. And this is the MagSafe cable. I noticed that this converter is smaller than my current MacBook's converter. So that's pretty cool. And also, I noticed that it's a different type of connector than my current MacBook has. Mm. Then, take off this little cover. Now I'm never gonna find that ever again. The manuals. MacBook Air. And those are the Apple stickers I want. I realized that I forgot to show you what a MacBook Air looks like opened. Here it is, if you've never seen the inside of a MacBook before. Alright guys, that was my Black Friday haul unboxing. Thank you very much for watching. I have a lot of stuff I have to set up and play with right now. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Ding. There we go.